All right, so we ended here earlier before that um, interruption. Now, the police officer who shot the man pleaded defense of a stranger. Again, yes, you can uh, you can invoke defense of a stranger here because all of the elements are present. Number one, you defended the stranger, meaning your fellow officer. Second, there is unlawful aggression on the part of the deranged man. Second, there is reasonable necessity on the part of the other policeman to repel that unlawful aggression by just pointing at and shooting at the man's thigh. So it is reasonable. So his intention was just to incapacitate the deranged man so that he will not be capable of killing the other police officer. And lastly, there was no um, evil intent or resentment or uh, revenge on the part of the police officer who shot the deranged man. So since all of the elements are present, then the police officer may uh, invoke defense of a stranger. <laughs> claro? Yes, sir. Pasensya na. Kita yun tanan. Nag-kick out yun ta. So this is again a, a real uh, true-to-life case in the Entitled as Masipi Quinab and Alampayan versus Court of Appeals, decided on August 25, 1989. So you may um, read there the, the instruction of the Supreme Court as to why there is defense of a stranger. All right, moving on. Volunteer. Abraham, sure. sir. Abraham Rose. All right, Abraham, kindly read the provision. Article 11, Justifying Circumstances. The following do not incur any criminal liability. Any person who, in order to avoid an evil or injury, does not act which causes damage to another, provided that the following requisites are present. First, that the evil sought to be avoided actually exists. Second, the injury feared be greater than that done to avoid it. Third, that there be no other practical and less harmful means of preventing it. Ah, okay, thank you very much. Actually, does an act na siya, ha? Any person who, in order to avoid an evil or injury, does an act which causes damage to another. Thank you, Ms. Abraham. Just to clarify. Now, this is what you call the doctrine of state of necessity or emergency meaning you may be not criminally liable if you raise the doctrine of emergency or state of necessity why because you are just trying to avoid a greater evil than the lesser evil meaning mas pilion mo ang lesser evil compared to the greater evil that exists now the elements of the doctrine of state of necessity are the following that there is an evil sought to be avoided and that it actually exists. Second, that the injury feared be greater than that done to avoid it. And lastly, there are no other practical and less harmful means in order to prevent that evil. So, so, so All right. So, for example, can I volunteer? Pedroso, sir. Okay, Pedroso. Case. Do, re, mi, do, re, mi are firemen responding to the fire scene inside a slum area. Bang it, shut up, shut, please. In order, that, in order that their fire truck may enter the area, they destroyed the shanties along the narrow side street. As a consequence, houses were destroyed, but it prevented the spread of the fire. May the firemen, firemen be held criminally liable for the damage caused to the owners of the houses they destroyed who shall be held civilly liable. All right. Thank you, Ms. Pedroso. Now, okay. Let's go back to the elements of state of necessity. Is there an evil sought to be avoided? Or is there an evil that actually exists? 
in this case? Yes. And what is that evil we are trying to avoid? Yes, sir. Na, sir. Unsa man? Itong sunog, sir. Sunog, all right. The fire. Isa to luto bag? Cabrera, sir. Cabrera. Now, um, in order to, so the fire actually exists. So this is the evil, the greater evil. Now, what is the lesser evil in this case? Mga guba ang balay, sir. All right, very good, very kano. Gumawa ng mga balay kay para magyang para. All right, so present imong second element. Now, there be no other practical and less harmful means in order in order to prevent it. Namabay other practical or less harmful means para ma prevent ang spread of fire. Wala na di ba? Wala na sir. Wala na. So, in short, the firemen may um, may not be held criminal liable because they are just they are invoking uh, the state of necessity meaning the doctrine of um, emergency so they will be not held criminally liable for the destruction of the houses now question who will be held civilly liable for this kudiba what's like criminal liability among firemen Kinsa ang mubayad sa danios sa pagdestroy sa mga houses para lang ma-spread ang fire? If you can remember in your... Yes, Nato sa concert sa propo. Who would like to answer? Sir. Oh, so Mambot. Oh. I think, sir, yung mababayad. Of course, sir, yung BFB. Because although... It is not their intention, sir, as according to Civil Code of the Philippines, Article 21. Just, just correct me, sir, if I'm wrong. Hindi yeah, ko familiar ang article. As long as you can create damages to others' property, sir, you should compensate the latter for the damage. So, in short, who should be held civilly liable? Firemen, sir. Ha? Yung firemen, sir, yung nag nagsira ng bahay. Are you sure? Sila ba naka-benefit sa pag-spread ng fire? Sa pag-stop ng fire? Is it the, are these the firemen? No. Mga silingan. Mga silingan. Sili exactly. Sa mga silingan na wala na appeal sa fire, they should be the ones who should be held civilly liable. If you can remember your prof. Con, ha? All right. Okay, let's go to the case of Tan versus Standard Vacuum Oil Company, July 29, 1952. Sige, who would like to read? Pedro, si Gandela. all right. Gandela. Tan versus Standard Vacuum Oil Corporation, na siya, sir. July 29, 1952. Anita Tan is the owner of the house Strong Materials based on the city of Manila, Philippines. On May 3, 1949, the Standard Vacuum Oil Company ordered the, delivered to the delivery to the Rural Transit Company at its garage at Rizal Avenue, Extension City of Manila. Of, one, of 1,925 gallons of gasoline using a gasoline tank truck trailer. The truck was driven, driven by Julito Santo Domingo, who was held in Mediorco. While the gasoline was being discharged at the tank, it caught fire. Whereupon, Julito Santo Domingo drove the truck across the Rizal Avenue extension and upon reaching the middle of the street, he abandoned the truck with continued moving to the opposite side of the first street, causing the buildings on that side to be burned and destroyed. The house of Anita Tan was among the among those destroyed, and for its repair, she spent 12,000 pesos. Is the driver criminally liable 
hopeless prevents resolving the damage to property. Hmm. Okay, thank you, Miss Gandela. All right, so na itabo dere is katung truck driver while gina unload nila tung gas sa underground tank, it caught fire. So yung gibuhat kay para dili mag-spread kay kung wala niya to gi-move, bubuto man na unsa entire compound, wala to gi-move, uh, mara dagan ang endanger on that area. So yung gibuhat, i-drive niya ang sa ang truck across the street and gi-abandon niya. Little did he know that nag-move pa din ning truck towards sa balay ni Anita Tan. So mo to nakakos og buildings na nag-burn including the house of Anita Tan. Now, question, is the driver criminally liable for reckless imprudence or something to damage to property? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go back to the elements. Is there an evil thought to be avoided? Oh, sir, no, sir. And that yeah. is? Katong, wow, sir. Kung dito ka lang sa kanila, sir, nagi i prevent niya. Mauto gi padagan sa niya palayo. Okay, para dili mabuto ang compound. Dili mabuto. Yes, ang tank ba yan? <laughs> All right, sige. Now, kung asang lesser evil dili, katong unsa na situation ang lesser evil dili, katong pagbubas sa palayo. Um, um, destroy ang um, sir. Katong ma-destroy sa ang tank. So, pag-move niya sa trucks across the street, di ba? Mamo to ang lesser injury, di ba? Kay, ano siya? Kung i-move na ko to dito, di di mabuto ang entire compound. Now, question. Are there no other practical and less harmful means to prevent the explosion or the spread of fire from the underground tank? Na, no, sir. Na no, pa, sir. <laughs> na no, pa? Are you sure? Sa ba, sir? Building, sir, na na-concern. Na, na, ha? Katong building, sir, na kuhaan katong building ni Tan. As you know. And now, the question here is, there are no other practical and less harmful means in order to prevent the the fire explosion. Napabailaing practical sir. means? Ay, wala na, sir. Wala na, sir. Wala na, sir. Right. So, in short, all elements are present. What do you think? Should? Yeah, my held sa one sa reckless imprudence destroying the property. Why? Kay pwede siya mo, mo mag-invoke sa the doctrines of state of necessity or emergency since all the elements are present. Okay. Alright, very good. Mm. So, mauna siya. Mona siya ang ruling sa Supreme Court na na there's really a greater evil injury so to be avoided and that he is just trying to um, avoid this greater evil or injury and that he chose the lesser injury kay para ma-protect tong premises katong compound nila from fire explosion. So mo na ruling sa Supreme Court. All right, so I think we should end there. Now, um, now may pangutan na, now may violent reactions or anything. Now may gusto i-clarify. Wala. So, duly recorded ha ang mga tao na nag-recite karon. Um, your recitations form part of your grade. Usually, daghan ang nakabawi tungod sa ilang recitation. Sa ano ha, sa pag, sa pag compute na ko grades. So kato na recite sa Profcon sa HR moto na nahila gid ilang grade. Pili passing sir sa exam. Ah. Unsa? Pili passing grade sa exam sir. Pili passing grade sa katong last exam na to. Katong karon sir. Oh katong bago lang. 100 items ali ba tama ba? 7 ay 70 siguro to sir. 70. 70 items. 35. 35 ang passing score ato. Ay, thank you, sir. So, klaro ta? Wala na? Sir, excuse me, sir. Manligoy, okay. sir. Yung late pagsood. Are you sure? Yes, sir. What are the elements of? Nani, sir. Yung late ako, sir. Nani, oh. Late? Una-una sa kausood. 
Be. Mga kuwan lang ito, sir. Mga 314 ba? 314. Ah, okay, sige. Now, what are the elements of <laughs> the pen of a stranger? Na, maligoy. <laughs> sige, sige, sige. I will reconsider. Okay. Na ba? Wala na. No more? Nothing more? Nothing more, sir. Sige, sige. Okay. Thank you and have a good day.